The crew of the guided missile frigate USS Vandergrift left the ship for the very last time today. A ceremony at Naval Base San Diego marked the end of the ship's 30 plus years of service. 10 News military reporter Bob Lawrence has the reaction from some of the first to sail on it and why the memory of the ship's namesake will live on. The ship's commander and other dignitaries are piped aboard to mark the end. Mark Nas was there for the beginning, his ball cap signifying he's a plank owner, one of the original members of the crew 30 years ago. It's a piece of history and I'm glad to do this. It's a once in a lifetime thing to be a part of. The Vandegrift goes out on a high note. On its last deployment, it intercepted nearly 20,000 pounds of cocaine. It also helped in the rescue of the Kaufman family, whose sailboat became disabled 900 miles off Cabo San Lucas. Marine colors on this ship are there for a reason. It's named for General Vandegrift, not only the Commandant of the Marine Corps at one time, also a Medal of Honor recipient. The Medal of Honor earned when Alexander Vandegrift led the 1st Marine Division, the Blue Diamond, to victory at Guadalcanal. Yachin, the Blue Diamond Division seen here before it went to Afghanistan. And last year, General Vandegrift's descendants toured Camp Pendleton, where his legacy is very much alive. My great-grandfather has quite a presence. General Vandegrift's great-granddaughter, Serena, who christened the ship when it was new and who was on hand as it was taken out of service with the hope that another ship will carry the name. I think in terms of continuing the um, his legacy, I think that would be just incredible because he really was an incredible Marine. The Navy hymn sounded as the crew disembarked, tap sounded as the ship's colors were taken down, and lastly, the commissioning pennant officially coming down as well, ending Vandegrift's active service. Bob Lawrence, 10 News. Changing of the guard in a lot of ways. Those Navy frigates are being replaced with those new littoral combat ships. And the Vandergrift will be stripped of all of the armaments and then sold to a foreign Navy. But what a display today. True.